OK, in this video, a child of mass 13 kilos slides down a smooth slope, inclined at 29 degrees to the horizontal. The slope is 16 metres long, and the child starts from rest at the top. Find, first of all, the acceleration of the child, and then the time taken to reach the foot of the slope. Now, the moment that we're going to be asked to find the time taken for the child to reach the foot of the slope, we know that we're going to have to bring in the SUVAT equations. OK, so I've got them there ready. So let's draw a diagram to see what's going on. Here's the slope. Here's the child at the top of the slide. This angle is 29 degrees. Now we've got the weight working vertically downwards. OK, now that's 13 times g. And I'm going to divide that up into its component parts. So this angle is 29 degrees. So we've got the opposite side will be 13g sine 29 and the adjacent side 13g cosine 29. OK. Now, we've also got the normal reaction force, R, that works perpendicular to the plane. There's no friction because um, the slope is smooth. Uh, we know that the slope is 16 metres long. So this distance here is 16 metres, and the child will be accelerating down the slope. OK, so this is the picture that we have. OK, so first of all, to find the acceleration of the child. So what I'm going to look at is resolving uh, parallel to the plane. So I want to resolve parallel to the plane. So using F equals MA, the net force, the only force working on it will be the weight. And that's the, uh, the component that is parallel to the plane, the 13g sine 29. So 13g sine 29. And that's going to be equal to the mass times acceleration. So 13a. So what I can do is I can divide both sides by the 13. So the acceleration will just be g times sine of 29. So that's 9.8 times sine of 29 degrees, and that gets me 4.7511, etc. So uh, to two significant figures is 4.8. OK, so that's my acceleration. Now, to find the time taken to reach the foot of the slope, well, this just reduces to a SUVAT problem now. So S-U-V-A-T. I know that he's got to travel 16 metres. We're starting from rest at the top. So the initial velocity is zero. The acceleration is that 4.8. OK, I'm going to use the full calculator display there. The uh, final velocity I'm not interested in. It's the time I'm interested in. So I want the equation that doesn't have V, which is the third one. So S is equal to U times T, so 0, plus 1 half times the 4.75, etc., times T squared. So if I divide both sides by the half 4.75, etc., so if I half what I've got in my calculator. Uh, so that's 2.3755, so that's that bit. I'm going to divide 16 by that, so 16 divided by the answer, and that gets me 6.735, etc. And then square root both sides gets me 2.595. So 2.6 seconds to two significant figures. OK, that's how long it takes for the child to reach the bottom of the slope.